forget the TARDIS, which of these Doctor Whos can only drive an automatic car? The answer is Christopher Eccleston. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, so, in the last bit of this morning's show, we're trying to find out who on earth only sits the driving test for automatic cars. Uh, Larry, Janet, Dominic's thoughts in a sec. 0207 173 is the number for yours. But, but uh, before I tell you any more about that, uh, we have a special guest on the phone. Uh, good morning. Hi. Hi, George Michael. It is me. Oh, Welcome, uh, welcome to The Right Stuff. And I believe uh, it is thanks to Twitter uh, that you're aware of... That you, basically, the story in The Sun today that we did in our papers, the Gordon Smart exclusive about you and Kenny going your separate ways, is not true? No, it's totally untrue. It's totally untrue. It's just a desperate attempt to overshadow the fact that I finally got a chance to say sorry to everybody yesterday. Yeah, it's um, a big interview. In, so. You know, the, the BBC leaked some stuff about the, the interview that I, I did with Chris Evans on Friday, which is for, you know, I'm doing my little bit for comic relief over the next couple of weeks and decided that I didn't want to make a big deal out of, you know, I, I, there was some talk of a, an interview before Christmas about my time in prison and everything. I decided I really didn't want to do that, you know. Um, I didn't really want to exploit that situation because I took it very seriously. Yeah. And um, anyway, so... So, so this morning, I, 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 so yesterday when, when I saw these um, things that the BBC had put out, which I basically just said, said sorry to everybody and that I realised I deserved what happened to me and that I felt I had a karmic bill to pay. And I think News International thought, oh, no, that's a good day's press for George Michael if he gets to apologise, you know. So they came up with this. And this morning, you know, hoping that, that I was going to get some nice publicity for comic relief and, you know, and also you know, the chance to say to say sorry before I, before I put music out there again. And I get, you know, I get the Kenny's walked out on me, which is complete bullshit. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh no! no. Oh, whoops! Now, I'm, uh, no, I'll, 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 I'm sure we didn't mean to say uh, uh, that, that daytime band word, and I apologise to those that may be offended. Wait, could, I just comment, could I just comment on... Could, could I just say to, to one of your guests that Kenny has an equally colourful life? <laughs> <laughs> Story, George. It must be and, infuriating and, you know, for George. I do, I mean, although I do have to thank you for saying you thought I wouldn't be on the shelf for long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm offering. Now, what about uh, do you drive an automatic car? You know I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason you never saw me shooting around that, that track on Top Gear. <laughs> Is that right? Is that right? You don't go on Top Gear? You I'd love to do that, but I'm too embarrassed to tell him I can't drive a, 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 um, a, a manual. You know what happened? I was working as... A, I know this sounds bizarre, but I was working as a labourer when I was taking my um, driving lessons as a kid, and I lost my job as a labourer because I got very drunk on the a night of my girlfriend's birthday lost my job and my father um, refused to carry on helping me to pay for my driving lessons as, as punishment, extra punishment. <laughs> so I never got... And then very soon after that, we, we signed our record deal and I didn't get a chance to learn to drive until, until um, um, Wham split up, really. So I got my first car, which was a Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you could, and, you uh, would. I got my first car and, and you know, I, I really had almost no time and I, and I wasn't really particularly... Um, enthralled by my lessons in a fiesta years before, I thought I would just stick with the automatic. There's a, there's a, I, can, I can sense your feelings of shame, George. I can, I can. <laughs> yeah. Now, what, one final true, thing. You, it's true, you don't tell people you can't <laughs> drive a manual, do you? You see, I told the audience. Yeah, true. I was right about that and Prince Andrew. Now, you've, you've been very <laughs> good at... No... Can I just say something, Go Matthew? On. Apart from wanting to tell you that I'm, I'm shocked that I love your show because of all the nasty things you wrote about me in the 80s. It was a long time ago. <laughs> Go on, say again. I, I, I watched you every morning in the Nick. You were part of my... Um, part of my... <laughs> That's made my day. Now, tell them about the song. It's, tr it's True Faith, isn't it? Yeah, 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 this is just what I wanted to say before I go. Is, you know, you know, besides all of this publicity this week, you know, that there will be around things that I've said and whatever, I just want to remind people that, that um, you know, Comic Relief, um, my new track will be, uh, the money's all going to Comic Relief. New Order have, have also donated all their, their publishing royalties, which is lovely of them. And, and 
I just wanted to, 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 to reiterate that I'm, I'm really appreciative that I, um, you know, I, I really feel as though uh, I'm, I'm given a chance to start again because I, I felt I deserved my punishment. It was, all, um, it was all fine by me, you know. And please don't let people be distracted by this rubbish story, you know. I still, um, you know, Kenny and I have had our problems, but I love him very much. He's never objected to my lifestyle, and he's never once um, uh, uh, tried to walk out on right. me. So. George, what? <laughs> George, I'm keeping his seat warm for you. Anytime you want to part that beautiful backside down here, it's waiting for you. How amazing. Right. George admits it. He's ashamed, and so he should be. So Automatic that, cars. Yeah. Any, are, you all, are you all gear based? Gear -based. I would, gear -based. What's the point of driving a car with yeah. a manual gear no. shift? It's like reverting oh, to. Because you can. It's like drive. reverting to but the. Can you, though? Post can you, though, Larry? Can you? Absolutely. We don't believe you. Well, oh, OK, it's like, right. listen to me. When I passed the driving test, there was no choice. Oh. You had to pass the driving test on a manual shift. Right? I've driven everything since me I was too. 17. I've driven trucks. I've driven... What's the point of driving a manual shift when they've invented an automatic gearbox? What are you trying to Mrs. prove? Mrs. Wright, Mrs. Wright, right. she's less... begging to be allowed yeah, to and do the automatic-only test. People that are, learning, people that are learning to drive, no. are learning to, they're learning to manipulate a set of bits and pieces that are already there for you, I and mean, they're not concentrating on driving a car. Oh, My advice to anybody who wants to Larry, drive a car is learn less automatic. Less fuel efficient, less no, fuel efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think manual driving is more sexy. Yes, I, I do think too. it is. And it's why would that be, Janet? Well, it just is. I don't know. There's something about actually being in charge of the car and and it's actually in my book. That thing when, you know, when the guy's re reversing and he puts his arm along the back of your yeah, seat. Yeah, That's yeah. great, isn't it? That's great. Well, it's funny, because as a driver, yeah. I think it's kind of cool as well to do all of that. And then my Michael. back goes and I hobble sexier. around like that. Manual driving is sexier. Now, definitely. unbelievably, we have someone in our audience who is prepared to go on national television <laughs> and make a horrible confession. Am I right, Eric? Yes, Deborah. Who could that be? <laughs> she seems it's, so nice. It's not a confession. Go on. <laughs> yes, I only drive automatic. So you, you did the automatic test? Yes, I did. And, and did the Examiner, come out and just laugh in your face when he uh, saw you. She. She. No. Oh. <laughs> no, she didn't. I did it for convenience. I needed to pass very quickly. I was eight months pregnant at the time. Right. And it was just easier. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's why I did Would it. you ever consider going back and doing the uh, the stick shift test? I don't need to. <laughs> I can hire automatic cars, so I don't need to. Yeah. You don't feel any sense of shame or embarrassment? <laughs> no, not at all. No, very proud of the fact that I can drive. That's yeah, the main thing. There you are. That's the point. As long as you, if you can drive, it's terrific. A bit closer That's to how it. the car feels. But you're feels not. I don't mean to put. You're not really driving. Not really of course driving. you you're are. Just doing, it's, you are to driving you're what, what dodgems yeah. are to cars. Yeah. That's all you're doing. You're sitting. Yeah. No, I get from A to B. That yeah. was the purpose. Why, why, I can get from A to B. Travelling, not driving. Moving huh? through the gears <laughs> manually makes you any more of a driver although, although, than Larry, the, them going through it. In the age of a finite oil supply, yeah. it is more efficient to use gears. Ah, look, if that is the case, then that's, a, to me, that's a different argument. What we're talking about is the sex. It's also, or the it is also is embarrassing. Manual. George done? Michael's right, it is also embarrassing. To what? <laughs> to say that you can't? <laughs> because, you know, oh. you're, you're just steering the oh. car, aren't you? You're not you're actually driving. You're steering. steering. Like, 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 the difference between heating something up in a microwave and actually cooking. Yes. Thank that's you. And that's the perfect that's note to oh. end. Oh. That it's time for me to select oh. overdrive and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Larry, it's been fantastic having hey, you here. Pleasure. Really appreciate pleasure. it. The book, the book I'll say again, pleasure. Mummy's Boy, it's a proper autobiography, plenty of meat on the bones and, and some fantastic talking points for us as well. And I, I do appreciate it. Cut near the quick as well. Um, Janet and Dominic, a fantastic start. And also George Michael made my day. I think, ladies and gents, <laughs> we should show all of them some love. <laughs>